Hillary, I'm going to nip off. You've got six minutes or thereabouts. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Hilary Jameson, Operations Manager at Wheatley Hill Community Association. We're a small registered charity man managing the Green Hill Centre, the community centre in the village of Wheatley Hill. OK, so you're probably thinking, where on earth is Wheatley Hill? Well, it's a small ex-mining village located about eight miles east of Durham City. The village has a population of approximately 3,050 and suffers high levels of multiple deprivation. 20% of the population are older adults aged over 65 years. Social isolation is prevalent with 20% of the elderly identifying as mildly lonely and a further 11% as intensely lonely. Whilst we work across the full 0 to 90, 90 years plus age spectrum, our core service is Meals on Wheels, which we started back in 2010 in response to demand from our older adults who will find it more and more difficult to get out of the house and come to our weekly luncheon clubs. The service has grown substantially since those early days. We deliver not only in our own village, but neighbouring villages and cover about 35 miles a day, delivering hot meals Monday to Friday with the option for clients to take freshly prepared chilled meals to heat up on weekends. The map here shows the East Durham area in pale green, with our current delivery locations marked with the green dots. We're a really small team, two cooks, three key volunteers, part-time admin and myself involved in the service. However, due to the rapid decline in health of one of our volunteers in the last couple of months, we've had to accelerate our plans and employ a temporary part-time driver just to help us out a little bit in the short term. Let me tell you a little bit about our volunteers. Scott, at 33 years old, is our long-serving kitchen assistant and delivery volunteer. He turns up every day and helps with kitchen prep and washing up. He also makes a pretty mean sponge cake. When Scott initially came to us about seven years ago via his gran, he was really shy and lacked confidence. Now he is like a different person. He has developed skills he simply didn't know he could, and his confidence has soared. Now, John is 75 years old and has volunteered with us in excess of 15 years. He's been involved with the service since it began. He used to only volunteer to drive one or two days a week. However, since the start of the pandemic, he clocks up more hours a week than when he was working in a factory. He's in early every morning, peeling potatoes, chopping veg. He sorts out customers' menus, delivery paperwork. Then he drives usually his own car, but sometimes our aged van, um, even dressing up as an elf to brighten everyone's day with their Christmas deliveries. We typically deliver about 125 meals a week. However, during the pandemic, this rose to in excess of 300 meals a week. No mean feat for our small team. We have an active client base of approximately 120. All are older adults of advancing years. Many have no family whatsoever. We welcome new clients on a regular basis, often through word of mouth, 18 in, last, in the last six months. So let's now introduce just a few of our clients. For clients like Jim and Neil, the service is more about the social contact than it is about the hot meal. Jim is 90 and lives alone since his wife died about 10 years ago. His family don't live near enough for him to see them regularly. Neil is 70, his wife died more recently and he has no immediate family. Both really look forward to their daily chat with Laura or Jean, our cooks who also deliver. They really love seeing them because they brighten their day. Well, that's what they tell me anyway. They also love a good old chin wag on the phone with me when they're sorting out their weekly orders. They just love putting the world to rights and they always like to know what we've been up to. Now, this is Walter. He's 85 and lives alone. He has no immediate family except a sister who's in a care home. Walter really is a sweetheart. He's been with us since the service started, but now, sadly, he's in very poor health and he struggles with a chronic chest condition. He's such a gentle soul. He never wants us to go to any trouble for him. If I don't hear from him by half past eight every Monday, we know there's a problem. And we send out the search parties just to check up on him. Sometimes he'll say he doesn't want a meal because he doesn't feel like eating. That always alerts us that he's got maybe another chest infection. So we check, does he need a doctor? Sometimes he needs a prescription picking up or a bit of shopping. 
So why us? Why do we do it? Well, why? Because we care. Our service is underpinned by kindness and that's what makes it great and that's what sets our service apart, random acts of kindness. We firmly believe in paying it forward. So when we apply for funding to support the service, we always include an allowance or a meal subsidy, which directly benefits our clients. So for example, £125 will enable our clients to save £1 per hot meal per day for a full week. They pay us £3 per meal instead of four. So for Neil, for example, that's a saving of £5 per week. For Jim, it's the difference between whether he can order two hot meals or three or four in a week. Now, £4 per hot meal may not seem like an awful lot of money. However, for our client base, the £1 per meal saving can be a lifeline. For people like Walter, Jim or Neil, that's a saving of £60 over 12 weeks. And that £60 can go towards keeping warm. We look after our clients as if they're family and friends. They're certainly not just a name. We get to know them, remember their birthdays, spoil them at Christmas and so on. The whole team put a lot of time and thought into making up kindness packs, remembering their likes and dislikes. Jelly babies for Dorothy, fleecy blanket for Walter, toffees for Margaret. They don't expect these token gestures, but they are always so very grateful. And some can get quite emotional that we take the time to show we care. Our ultimate aim is to increase our capacity to deliver a hot service six days a week and expand our delivery area to take in villages which we presently cannot cover. We anticipate from regular inquiries that our delivery mileage would double. The red dots on the map show the locations from where we regularly receive inquiries and where we could expand the service to. The demand is there. We have the capability, however, we need funding support to be able to increase our capacity to meet demand. The first step to achieving this is our immediate goal to employ two part-time drivers and a kitchen assistant to relieve the pressure on our existing small team and hopefully allow us to employ Scott, our trusty long-serving kitchen volunteer. So what can we do with funding? Well, £1,000 would provide a meal subsidy for all clients for eight weeks. 5,000 would enable us to employ a delivery driver for 28 weeks and provide a 12 week meal subsidy. 10,000 pounds would enable us to employ a delivery driver and kitchen assistant for 30 weeks together with an eight week meal subsidy for all clients. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening. And if